Hey, so I just want to give you a quick demo of how I use Chronometer on my iPhone. We'll go ahead and look at a couple days ago. And I'm just going to give you an example here of how I go through this, how I use it, how I add food. First thing I want to show you is, as you'll see here at the bottom, it shows I consume 2,751 calories. If you tap the little arrow on the bottom right, it's going to show you a screen here that will display my protein, my carbohydrates, and my fat intake. And when I tap the graph under calorie breakdown, it shows the percentages. Now, I'm not too concerned about the percentages, but if you like to see the percentage of carbs, protein, or fat that you're consuming on a daily basis, this is really cool. One other thing I really like about Chronometer, and I know this is just about macros, but I just want to show you this really quickly. Out of all the apps I've used, and maybe it's changed on the other apps, but I use this most frequently, is you can see your vitamin intake and mineral intake, in addition to the breakdown of carbs, fats, and protein. As you'll see, protein, you have all the different amino acids, carbohydrates, shows fiber intake, shows starch, sugars, and then also on your fat intake, you have monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, omegas, saturated trans fat, all that stuff. So that's what I think is really cool about chronometer. Let me just show you how I track my food here. So first of all, you can do it one of two ways. On the bottom left hand corner, you just touch the little apple. This is a bunch of foods that I typically eat, so these show up at the top because I refer to them pretty frequently. But for instance, let's just say that I'm going to log, let's say, dry oatmeal. And I type that in there, pick the first one. I always weigh it out in grams, so let's just say 60 grams. Shows everything there. I add the serving and go all the way down. And I see it there, it was entered as 60 grams you can touch the more details button and it will actually show you the breakdown of minerals, vitamins that are in that serving, also the carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Now the other way to add food is to touch the apple again and then in the upper right hand corner there's a barcode. So you hit that barcode and I'm just going to use a barcode of some coffee creamer that I use consistently and see right there it took it pretty easily and then I just put two tablespoons because that's what I normally have and then just hit add serving and shows up there now there are some other things you can look at on the app like if you go to my food you'll see here I've added a bunch of different foods some of them are supplements some of them are foods that I couldn't find in the database so I would just add them uh, some of it is just stuff that I made as a way to track recipes, like you'll see the one-fourth gnocchi and ground beef turkey. That was a recipe that I used. If you want to add a new food or add something in there that you can't find, you just hit add new food. And you can name it, and then you can put literally anything you want in there in terms of how many calories it's worth, how much caffeine, water, vitamins, minerals, fiber, even down to the individual you know, monounsaturated, polyunsaturated fat content. You can do that to your heart's content. I don't typically put in all that stuff, but it's helpful if you like that. Um, another thing you can look at is you can look at trends. This just shows you calories consumed. I don't really ever use this stuff much because I just don't find it that helpful. I don't really care too much. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is how I use it on the desktop. Hey, now we're on the desktop version. I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through how I use this on the computer and how I go about adding food and looking at reports. So as I'm logged in here, you'll see that we're on the same date, November 30th, and you'll see down here below that I, the two foods that I added um, are in here, and everything looks the same in terms of my calorie intake, protein, fat, carbohydrates. You just hover over the different names here, and you'll see the percentage of carbs, fat, and protein. Total calorie breakdown here at the bottom, shows up here in a nice little chart. I really like the desktop version because I feel like you can see a lot more and access a lot more and maybe I just like to use the computer more but anyway uh, it's still just as useful as the phone and you can do anything here that you can do on the app. So let me just show you quickly. Add food. We'll just pick one of these down here. Banana. And let's say I had to 
extra large bananas add serving and there it is and anytime you want to highlight any food that you've eaten it'll show down here the contents of the food in terms of protein carbohydrate and fat now if I want to look at the total nutrients that I've consumed just like in the app you'll scroll all the way down make sure you click off of that food if you want to see all the nutrients that you've consumed for the day and then you just scroll down and you'll see everything here total energy intake protein carbohydrates and fat if you want to get down to the vitamins and minerals and get down to the exact grams you can see all that stuff here this is another reason why I really prefer chronometer over some of the other trackers now you can click on the trends button just like you do on the iPhone there's really not a lot of stuff here that I use I don't even really check this stuff so I have not even found this useful click on foods just similar to what I showed you on the phone I have all my custom foods here and you can delete them or you can go back and change those as you want to you have a profile tab up here you can actually go in here and input your personal information so your height your weight your activity levels and it can actually spit out some different ideas for how much food you should be consuming now I don't really find that useful and as you probably will see here in my diary if you look here it says 1775 kcal burned this is just my BMR and I've not added any activity modifiers or anything to this because I don't really care to it doesn't really matter to me so every day that I consume food it always shows that I'm like doubling my BMR so that's totally fine I know how much I want to eat I know what my activity levels are like I know how much food I'm aiming for on a daily basis so that's all that really matters in the grand scheme so that's it for the chronometer demo anytime I'm tracking my intake on a consistent basis I'm always using this app I've tried other apps in the past and they're fine but I prefer chronometer